Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another tech tip today. Today I'm going to show you how you can take Google Forms and make multiple Google Forms, but have all of your responses consolidated into one spreadsheet. One reason for this might be when you're doing summer classes, or we've been doing classes for the last few months, and we will continue to do classes all throughout the summer. So we'd like to have one single spreadsheet from which to gather all of that data of all the teachers who have taken our classes, class by class, with all of the tabs showing at the bottom of one single spreadsheet. Maybe you're a band director and you receive students from multiple schools, multiple elementary schools, in your middle school band, or multiple middle schools and you're a high school band director, and you'd like to separate each individual school that responds to your form and have them separated by tab in one single spreadsheet. And that's why I wanted to show you how it's done. The example I'm using today is our online EdTech class sign-in form, and I hand-entered the titles of all of the classes, and I hand-entered all of the teacher names and all of their email addresses. Frankly, it was too time-consuming. So it occurred to me that wouldn't it be a lot better if we had a sign-in sheet and all of the results automatically went into their own tab. So I'll show you how this is all done. First, you create your form. And as you probably know, if you've used Google Forms before, you get a responses tab right here automatically generated. When you click on that tab, you'll see that there's a green button right here. And when you click on the green button, you'll get the responses automatically in Google Sheets. That happens automatically with a new sheet being generated for every single form. What I want to do is have my form responses go into one spreadsheet and one spreadsheet only, but with multiple worksheet tabs at the bottom. So to make that happen, what I'm going to do is click on the three dots over here, the More button, and click Make a Copy. And it would be smart to include the date. So this will be a different class with a different set of responses. And I'll click OK. I'll close my original spreadsheet and now here's my copy. Keep the original title and just add a date at the end. Now, here's the important part. Click on Responses, and I want it to feed into the same spreadsheet that I originally had. So what I'll do is click the three-dotted button right here, and I want to choose Select Response Destination. And I don't want it to create a whole brand new spreadsheet, but instead I want to select an existing spreadsheet. So I'm going to have to know the name of that response spreadsheet that I originally made, and it's right here. Here's the title, so I'm going to copy the title by dragging my mouse across it. I'll just use Control C to copy that title. The reason I'm doing this is so I know exactly where to find it. So I chose Select Existing Spreadsheet, and now I'm going to select the spreadsheet that I want it to feed into. Now here I can right click and choose paste or I can do control V. And now by bringing in the exact title of that spreadsheet that I want it to feed into, I can just click on the title. Now it knows what spreadsheet I want to use. I want to accept responses, so I'm making sure that accepting responses is turned on. So here are the questions. And now I can use this Google form to send out to teachers who attend my classes, and they can use this as a class sign-in sheet. I can send that link by clicking the Send button, and click the link, and even shorten the URL, and copy this form to a website. I can also paste this link into my agenda, and post the agenda in Google Classroom, Twitter, or Facebook. All I have to do is just click the Copy button, and then they'll have this link, and they can click on it, and then fill out the form. One of the nice features of Google Forms is this eyeball right here, which is called the Preview button. When you click on this button, not only can you see what the form will look like to the people who fill it out, but you can also use it to test your form. So I'm going to pretend that I'm John Smith taking this class, and I want to see how the responses work with my current spreadsheet. So I put in my email, and now I'll click Submit. Now if I jump over to the spreadsheet, 
Notice how it added this Form Responses button, or tab, at the bottom as a separate worksheet. When I click on it, you'll see that John Smith filled out the form, here's his email address, and here's the grade level that he teaches. It also includes a timestamp column so that I know exactly what time he filled it out. Sometimes that comes in handy because if they filled it out at a time when the class didn't actually meet, then you'll know that John is cheating and he didn't actually attend the class. Now, if I don't necessarily want to see that, I can just drag column B here so that I, it's basically hidden. Another option is that you can right click and hide the column. So here's my first response. I don't want it to be called Form Responses 4, but instead I want to change the name of it. So I can do that by clicking Rename, right click, Rename, or I can click the drop down menu right here and choose Rename. And this class was called Assistive Tools. So I'll type in the new name, hit Enter, and now I have a new tab from which my Google Form will automatically generate responses into my pre-existing spreadsheet. I can drag these labels into any order that I want by just clicking, holding, and dragging. And if I wanted to delete John Smith from the class, I can right-click and I can delete that row. Now all of my data that will be received from the Google Form will be updated and correct. I do have one response from John Smith here under the Responses, and I can delete that as well by going into the Individual Responses. And you'll see John Smith right here. All I have to do is click Delete Response, Yes, and now he's deleted. And since I'm still accepting responses from this form, all of the new responses from this form will be correct and updated. And they will all feed into this tab or this worksheet for the Assistive Tools class. So I have this all set up. When anyone attending this class clicks on this form, the results will go into this tab. For my next class, I will just click the three dotted button, click on Make a Copy. I'll change the date. My next class will be on the 28th. It'll have the same title. I'll get rid of the words Copy Of and I'll click OK. Again, there's a link. It has the subject. I can email it. I can shorten the link and copy it into my agenda. I'll go to the Responses tab, click on the three dots, choose Select Response Destination, select the existing spreadsheet, click Select, and again, I want it to be the exact same spreadsheet as before. So I'll steal the title, copy it, and paste it into my blank here. And now I know that I'm going to connect to the correct spreadsheet. And now I'm ready to accept responses. I always like to test it beforehand. So I click on the eyeball to test it. This time I'll check two boxes so that I know it's different from the one I just did. I'll hit Submit, and this time we see Form Responses number 5. I'll right-click, I'll rename it, and there is my first response. I know it works, so I'm going to delete that particular response, and I'll do the same thing here. So now the Form Results for my next two classes are automatically feeding into the correct tab at the bottom of the very same spreadsheet. And I'll continue to do this with every new form that I make so that those sign-in lists are automatically generated and they join the rest of my hand-entered worksheet tabs. The only difference is that the ones that come from the Google Forms have that purple icon next to the title and the ones I hand entered don't. So hopefully this tip helps you whenever you're dealing with multiple groups of people, whether they be students or teachers in this case, and you want those class lists gathered in one single centralized spreadsheet. This is how it's done. I'm Mark Rep. Thanks for joining me again for another Tech Tip.